Need to scrub the floor? Steam cleaners make cleaning easy, and they get the dirt out without using chemical solvents. Making one starts with a computer design. This one is for a commercial model that will be used to clean hotels, restaurants, offices, and schools. They make the components using polycarbonate plastic pellets. A molding machine melts them into thick goo. It injects the liquefied plastic into molds. The plastic hardens into the shape of parts. This one is the cover for the steam cleaner's boiler. A robot with vacuum suction grippers extracts the cover from the mold. Other molded parts include a base that fits to the cover and extension tubes, handles and hooks. A worker installs a water level probe on the steel boiler. He also screws a fitting for the fill hose to it. He adds two solenoid valves which will switch the steam on and off and control its intensity. He then places the boiler in a test device. It verifies that the electrical parts are sufficiently insulated. He tightens the solenoid valves to complete the installation. With hoses now attached to it, he places the boiler in the base of the steam cleaner. He plugs in the electrical contacts to power the controls for the steam hose and connects the steam hose to a fitting next to the contacts. He crimps a metal clip around it to reinforce the connection. He links the main electronic board to temperature sensors that have been installed on the boiler. He also wires the steam pressure sensors. He covers the top of the boiler with melamine insulation and slides a heat-resistant plastic cover over the boiler. He attaches the fill hose to the fitting that now protrudes through the cover. He connects the other end to the water tank. He equips the tank with two water level sensors. And he hooks up a gauge for the steam pressure. He now fills the tank with water and runs the steam cleaner. Then, using a little mirror, he checks for leaks. Another worker now plums the steam gun. He attaches a plastic joint to the steam hose and inserts a nozzle into the end of it. He slides the joint forward to surround the spray nozzle and screws a plastic wand to the end of the joint. He tucks the hose into one half of the handle's plastic casing and installs a trigger. He snaps the second half of the handle to the first with the trigger protruding. Screws hold the handle together. He connects the steam gun to the boiler unit. He switches it on and the sprayer shoots out a hot pressurized mist known as dry steam. It contains just 5% moisture to allow clean surfaces to dry quickly. The steam cleaner also comes equipped with a vacuum for suctioning up residual water and dirt after steam cleaning. He assembles the vacuum motor to the filter. He inserts the motor and filter in the base canister and locks the assembly together with clips at the sides. He transfers the steam cleaner to a cart. Once the vacuum is on board, this duo is ready to eradicate dirt, grease and pathogens. Just aim and pull the trigger and the steam vapor will do the rest of the work.